All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here, check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack making up some Freedom pellets for uh, some upcoming videos that we have. We're going to be running a 9 millimeter pistol caliber carbine out on the range and having a lot of fun. But before, in order to do that, we got to produce some ammo. And unfortunately, uh, the coronavirus right now has caused a, uh, a just a run on just about everything. Uh, not only just toilet paper, hand sanitizer, clean chicken, meat, all the cool stuff. Which, you know, it's interesting because this just lets us know how unprepared we are for certain situations that happen on a global scale. Not only on a global scale, community scale, and nationwide scale. Right now, I live in North Carolina, and unfortunately for us, uh, what is that governor we got? Uh, Roy Cooper. Uh, cancel school for two weeks uh, statewide. Which means that, well, for us that work, we got to figure out what to do with our young children while we're trying to get our job done. Now, a lot of companies are going ahead and they are letting people work from home, but some of us don't have that luxury. I tell you what, look at that, man. 124 grain round nose. This is perfect. But here's the deal. Recently, there's been a run on ammo. I was uh, talking to my good friend X-Ring last night, and he said, man, he got a call from one of the... Uh, uh, local gun store saying his distributor is just completely out and uh, sure enough man I looked on uh, one of my favorite websites both PSA uh, primary arms and Big Daddy Unlimited because I've ordered a lot of ammo from those guys especially the the high-end stuff and they are out they're sold out every 55 grain except for the stuff that's you know pretty expensive uh, is gone Am I worried about this? No, I'm not worried about it. Am I going to freak out? No, I'm not going to freak out because this is people just impulse buying. They're running up the credit card, which means, hey, ammo in about another two or three weeks is going to be right back on the shelves. I don't think there's anything to worry about. And that's why, well, I want to emphasize to each and every one of you guys, that if you're watching this video, one of the coolest things you could do is learn how to reload, even if it's just with a lead progressive single stage, or if you've got something like this, uh, this is a uh, turret where I've got it set up to run 30865 Creedmoor 223 uh, or, you know, 556, whatever, in 9mm in bulk right here. I always keep, I don't know, uh, a couple pounds of powder laying around just so in the event that something happens, guys, you're able to go ahead, make enough ammo to keep yourself, well, active and in the fight. So, uh... Always, always keep something up and around. All right, so another reason I wanted to talk to you guys today, not only just about the ammo shortage and the coronavirus and all the other stuff, let me know what your thoughts are about this deal down below. My wife says that some reason they've tied that uh, uh, this coronavirus in China to George Soros. I don't know if that's the truth or not, but here's the thing that I've got coming up, and I want to do this video justice um, bolt carriers, bolt carrier groups. Yeah, a little while ago, I did a review on the Daniel Defense and a regular training guy, uh, awesome channel. If you guys are not subscribed to him, he's this dude. He's, he's very active in training. Uh, he went out, he made a comment about, uh, on the video saying that he had Toolcraft, uh, blow up or a bolt split in half after about five or 6,000 rounds twice. And I discounted the the comment, but it, it and, and it was all basically misunderstanding. Let's just go from that. All right. So anyway, one of the things that I want to do based on that is I want to do a video about bolt carrier groups. So I went on a mission. I've I, guys, I've got a couple ARs laying around, and uh, I've also reached out to a couple companies. Optics Planets came through. They've uh, sent a bunch of bolt carrier groups out. Uh, we've got some from PSA as well as Big Daddy Unlimited sending their whole lineup that they've got from White Label. Anyway, here's the whole deal. Uh, I want to take these bolt carriers and bolt carrier groups, and I want to go through some pluses and minuses based on, one, cost, cost effectiveness, performance, uh, and all the little knickknacks that mean something as they re relate to a bolt carrier. Now, this is where I need your help. I'm going to start accumulating questions based on the comments down below that one, if you have a question or number two, do you have a comment? My first question to you is what do you feel is an acceptable level for 
uh, life expectancy out of your BCG. Is it 1,000 rounds, 5,000 rounds, 10,000 rounds, 20,000 rounds? Also, when do you start thinking about replacing the bolt? At what round count is that? And then what, how often do you do or take it down and then actually inspect it? There's a many, there's a multiple different ways that you can perform an inspection. So anyway, what I want to do is then take those questions or comments and I want to implement them into this upcoming ultimate BCG uh, conversation. I'm not saying it's a review, it's a conversation. And I think that that's a really cool thing to talk about because we are going, it's an open forum. You guys are going to be included in on it and I'm going to address each one of those because we've got about 50 different bulk carrier groups that we're going to be talking about. And it's not a review. It's not telling you one's better than the other. We're going to be talking about bulk carrier groups that are $450 down to the ones that are $65. Why would you not use one at $65 versus what is the what are the benefits of using one that is $450? And we're going to be talking to a couple of experts. But anyway, I thought this would be a really good opportunity for you guys to go ahead and list your questions and comments and input down below. There are some guys out there that have a lot more experience than I do with this stuff. But it's my due diligence to do the research so that I can present to you some accurate information. All right, so that's it, man. What are we coming away from this video with? Don't overreact. Make sure that you're prepared so that you don't have to overreact in the future. Grab you one of these things, even if it's a single stage. Learn how to prepare. Get yourself, you know, uh, there's one pound of, uh, of powder and a box of primers and some bullets and some cases, and you have the means to, one, prepare and keep your family safe. Number two, there's a lot of squirrels in this neighborhood. And I hate to say it, but if my family and it came down to it, we'd be eating a lot of squirrels. <laughs> anyway, that being said, guys, we always end it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24 seven for our freedom. Cause freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about those men and women who fight for our rights as it was written in the constitution 24 seven for our freedom. Cause it is never free. You guys are finding this out. Don't hoard. Well, you can hoard, but always be prepared. That's the Boy Scout motto. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out. Hey, and thanks for everybody who's joined us in the uh, Patreon thing. It means a lot to me. You guys are awesome. Y'all be good.